Hey guys. Hey. Good day. Good day and welcome to another episode of the Abandoned Round Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. And we, sirs and madams, are going to drink a beer. Today's beer, if you're curious of what it is, you probably aren't, but I don't give a shit. It's going to be this. Sent to me by the one and only Jordan from Reviewing Under Influence. Thank you very much, Jordan. This beer is 5% alcohol by volume. It is Aggie Ale, which is an amber ale. While the technology has changed, producers in this community continue to work as hard as ever to produce some of the best malt barley in the world. OCBeer.ca Olds College Brewery in Olds, Alberta. Ingredients water, barley, hops, and yeast. Okay. Shall we? Shall we? I'm going to drink some Aggie Ale. Yes, we are. In the Silversmith pint glass. Because ain't nobody got time for a Teku today, Murray. Okay, Teku Murray. No time for a Teku today, Teku Murray. I don't give a fuck about your Tekus, Teku Murray. You know, you never realize just how much a uh, a pint compared to a 355 can, how much, well, how little difference there really is in the visual aspect, but how much difference there actually is in the, in the volume. And I mean, this is where the cup is the widest, that's why it's the shortest amount that's missing. But it just, if you put this in front of somebody, I don't know. They'd probably think they had a lot more beer than they really do. At least I would. At least first glance until I started thinking about it. Anyway. Yeah, it has an amber hue to it. Still, uh... It's still more of that, like, it's more browny than usual amber colors. I've heard from a lot of people that they think I'm Italian because I talk with my hands. And not all that many Irish people really do talk with their hands, but I, I talk with my hands quite often. I do, guys. I talks with my hands. Let's sniff the beer. Hmm. Okay, um, not as... Not as much, uh, molasses as I'm used to with an amber ale. This is more... It, it, this is more American, like an American amber than a uh, Irish red or amber to me. It has more of a, it, you know what, it kind of reminds me of, uh, kind of reminds me of Cameron's, which is now the Cameron's Ambeer instead of Amber. I'm sorry, Amber. Um, it has a lot more hops to it than, than most ambers I've had have, nose-wise. It, it, it kind of gives off out of the can and out of the glass a slightly tinny scent and I know oh my god it came from a tin can well I, I, I get the argument that it came from a can but there are some some hop varieties that I always find seem to mix into a uh, into a tinny scent a little bit and that's kind of what I'm getting from this one second um, yeah it's not like it's it's not like it's bad or anything, it just kind of has that slight tinny scent to it. As well as more, more like, um, less molasses, more caramel, more of a sweetie scent. Not that that's bad again either, but it's just what it is for me. Let's try the beer. Cheers. Oh, and for anyone wondering, there's Mr. Rhino. Chad Jr. is right there. He's doing pretty good too. 
Oh, my dog's barking. One of them at least. Where the fuck's the other dog? They never bark alone. Okay, yeah. Earthy dirtiness on the back end, very uh, English-esque that way. Earthy dirtiness is kind of drying on the back. Forefront, a little bit of roast. No, not really all that much sweetness. Okay, I can see this being an amber. Um, just again, it's more like uh, it's more like the Cameron's amber, or the Five Paddles amber, or a lot of other uh, Ontario ambers I've had. That's more. It's more a hopped amber. This one, this one more on the English hoppy side than the than the American, but it's more like a hopped amber than anything else. Nothing's wrong with that. It's just what it is. I don't mind the beer. It's really that I don't have as much energy or anything in this review as I would have in a lot of others. My wife's sleeping over there. My father-in-law's sleeping right up there. My mother-in-law right over there. My one child here and my other child there. Got home from work. I'm trying to stay up all night because we're doing our Easter thing in the morning. It's it's not Easter today. It's uh, two days before Easter, but because I work Easter and my wife works Easter, we're trying to do our Easter thing a day early. So I got off work and I'm going to stay up all night until we do Easter baskets and then I'm going to sleep while they all go out and do their stuff and then we're going to have Easter dinner. It'll be a good time. Anyway, this beer is good. It's just not great. Um, all in all, I don't think I've really disliked any beers from this old college, old college brewery. Uh, Aggie Ale is a fine ale. There's just nothing really to it. I'd give it, I don't know, a 6.5 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a nice little beer. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Jordan, for sending this out. Au revoir, au bientôt. See you soon. Bye-bye.